Early in the War of 1812, the United States planned to invade and conquer Canada. Western U.S. politicians wanted to remove the British influence from the frontier and obtain more land for settlement. The American militia outnumbered British troops, but the British relied on key bodies of water, Lakes Erie, Ontario, and Champlain, to quickly move men and resources. Naval battles fought on two of these lakes would affect the war's outcome. The Battle of Lake Erie, also known as the Battle of Put-in Bay, took place in September 1813. British control of Lake Erie had given them control of American territory, including Detroit. To break that control, the Americans built a fleet of small ships in the sheltered harbor at Erie, Pennsylvania, under the supervision of shipwright Noah Brown and Master Commandant Oliver Hazard Perry. Months earlier, Perry's friend, Captain James Lawrence, was mortally wounded in the devastating loss of USS Chesapeake. Perry was inspired by his friend's dying command, don't give up the ship, and had a flag made bearing those words, which he flew at the masthead of his flagship, the Lawrence, named for his fallen friend. As Perry's fleet rapidly took shape, British Commodore Barclay was quick to reinforce his own fleet, building HMS Detroit to defend the lake against the anticipated American attack. On September 10th, a day with light wind, Perry brought out his ships against his British counterpart. His flagship, Lawrence, engaged the center of the British line and was battered by the enemy's long guns. Taking down his flag from his badly damaged ship, Perry was rowed to the brig Niagara, where he resumed the fight. At that moment, the wind picked up, giving Niagara and the rest of the American ships a decisive advantage. When Barclay surrendered, the Americans regained control of the lake and their territory. The Battle of Lake Champlain in September 1814 found U.S. Master Commandant Thomas McDonough's fleet in control of the waterway. The British planned to invade New York from Canada and seize American territory before negotiators could finalize a treaty to end the war. But a successful invasion would require them to take control of Lake Champlain from the Americans. Knowing an attack was coming and that he was outgunned, McDonough anchored his ships in Plattsburgh Bay in such a way that the British ships would have to sail directly into his broadside. With light winds, the British flagship was unable to properly maneuver and also dropped anchor, trading close fire with McDonough's flagship, Saratoga. With both ships badly damaged, McDonough's advanced planning gave him the advantage. He had anchored his vessels close together and was able to turn them using anchor cables only. In doing so, he shifted Saratoga around and resumed fire from her undamaged side. The British flagship Confiance was unable to match this maneuver and surrendered. The British invasion force was forced to retreat from American soil because the strategically important waterway remained in U.S. hands.